Hello guys, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to download and install FFmpeg into your Windows system. Okay, uh, so the very first thing I want to show you, let me let me click, let me press Windows R and get my command prompt out. Okay, so let me just type FFmpeg just to let you know that I do not have it currently. Okay, not recognized as an internal or external command. Okay, that's good. Um, let me just exit this. Good. Now, um, the first thing you want to do is just come to this website. The link is already in the description of this video. Okay, ffmpeg.org/download.html/buildwindows. Okay, so this is actually going to work very well for whatever version of Windows you use. Okay, so that's there. So click on this Windows and then. Um, Click on Windows Build from giant.dev. Okay. Very well. So that is there. Then come straight, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down to FFmpeg. Okay, let me just show you this so you can get it. Come to release builds. Scroll down to release builds. Okay. Scroll down to release builds. Okay. Then go straight to FFmpeg release essentials dot zip okay so you click on this one so it will start downloading for you instantly okay within a couple of minutes you'll have it fully downloaded just wait for it to download it's actually um it's 1.5 megabytes so depending on your internet speed and all that you'll have it downloaded okay now the file has been the full the entire folder has been completely downloaded so the very next thing you want to do is um, head straight to the downloaded folder go to my download find it right here this is it okay so um, I'm going to unzip it I'm going to extract it okay I can just extract here very well okay So guys, this is it, right? But then um, I want to I want to take it straight to my C drive because that is where I need it to function for me. Okay, so um, I'm going to open another another win another Windows Explorer. Okay, and then I'm going to reduce it, make it smaller, so I can easily access to the two of them together at the same time okay yes I'm gonna make it really really small very well okay very well so I'll just head straight to my C drive here open this up okay this is my C drive okay so the very next thing I want to do is that I'm going to I'm going to lift this one from here I'm going to transfer it right to my C drive as you can see it's already in my C drive right so the very next thing I want to do I can then I can make it big now it's okay very well so the very, the very next thing I'm going to do is that I will rename it I'm, I'm going to remove this essential build it's not necessary okay very well I can just leave the version there 6.0 okay so that is that very well the next thing I want to do is I'll open it open it okay what I'll advise you is there just cut it out cut it out okay cut it out and then paste out paste this here okay so this other one can go you can delete this one no problem at all okay very well so I'll rename what I have inside which is this okay 6.0 very well so this does it ffmpeg 6.0 that's okay so now that I've renamed it I'll just enter okay go to bin okay then click out here okay 
the next thing you'll see is what this path here this directory just click it and then right click and copy it now that you've copied it go straight to your to your C drive again okay out here just right click click on properties okay then advanced system settings from here go straight to environment variables um please at this point if you have not subscribed to this channel kindly help me subscribe to this channel it's a very brand it's a brand new channel it's a baby channel please help me to grow as i help you also as i contribute my little quarter to your uh development journey so thank you very much if you're a returning subscriber i really appreciate you i love you thank you very much for being here god bless you so let's go let's go straight to our let's go straight to this path under environment variable come straight to path okay and then click on edit as you can see these are the these are the available path then click on new okay and then paste what you have copied and then okay and then okay and okay all right so i can cancel this one out okay at this point now i can then uh press windows r and get my command prompt out okay now again as i did before let me check f f m p e g can you see very well so as you can see this is the version i have right now so guys this is how to download and install ffm p e g thank you very much for watching kindly help me um subscribe to this channel and also help this channel to grow thank you very much god bless you